Hi, as in the previous video, we have already discussed the concept of state management. Here, we will discuss one of the way that is client side state management. As we have already discussed, like during the round trip, the information which is associated with the web page may get lost. So here we'll try to preserve the value by storing the values on the client's machine. When we want to store the value on the client machine, so either we can store the data on the page memory or in the web browser or somewhere in the client's machine. So as here you can see, like when the data is stored on the page, page means in the HTML. So we will try to encrypt the data and we'll store that in the page memory itself or in a browser, maybe somewhere in the browser so that even if there's a round trip, the values should be there or somewhere in the client's machine, maybe as a file. So we'll discuss about each fact in our coming videos uh, is faster and less secure because client is the one which requires the value. So obviously it will be faster because the data is itself on the client's machine and less secure obviously because the data is stored on the client machine and client machine will not be generally secured that as the server's machine. So obviously the data is not be secured but the thing is we will analyze if it is the data doesn't require much security only then we will allow the data to get stored some way in the client's machine. And since it is nothing related to the server at that particular time, we will not affect the server performance while working with the client side state management. So now let's see what all concepts are here in order to work with this client based state management. So here we have view state, hidden field, cookies and query stream. So in our coming four next videos, we will discuss about each of these techniques of client based state management separately. So in our next video, we'll discuss about view state.